Yo, what is up, everybody? It is your boy back again. Guess who's back again? Sorry it's been so long. I've been on vacation, so I haven't had time to really do much. I've been working a lot, spending time with family. All that stuff that you normally do on vacation, I've just been chilling. But I'm back again with a long overdue video. And before we get started, I want to make an exciting announcement. We have hit a hundred subscribers, people. That's not a huge deal, but it still happens. And my hair is crazy, so I need to put my hat back on. But yes, that's something that's happened recently. I think like just this past week at the recording of this video, I finally hit 100 subscribers, which is super cool. I mean, you guys know I've never been doing this for the subscribers or the views or whatever. I was just doing this because it's something I enjoy doing and it's fun for me to make videos and I enjoy that people watch my videos and I enjoy watching my own videos because I'm a narcissistic prick, but it's good to still like reach an actual milestone. You know what I mean? Like I've been doing this for a little over two years now, so it's good to finally like have hit my first milestone of 100 subscribers. I know it's not like a huge thing. I'm not getting any play buttons anytime soon, but it means a lot to me. So big thank you to everyone who subscribed recently and helped me hit this milestone and also another big thank you for all of you who've been subscribed since the very beginning and have seen me through my highs and my very lows because there's been a lot of lows on this channel and you stuck through it so thank you guys all so very much from the bottom of my heart but enough with all that sappy bullshit let's get into the actual video now 2018 has been a good year i guess and now that it's over, it is time for my now annual list of some of my favorite movies from 2018. Just like last time, I'll be leaving out some of the bigger blockbusters like Marvel movies, big book adaptions, and Pixar movies. As while I of course saw them and did really enjoy them, I want to focus more on movies that I absolutely loved this year and that flew under the radar of many a normie moviegoer. In no particular order, let's get started. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was probably my favorite favorite movie this year and was one of the best if not the best animated movie i've seen in a very long time at least that's come out of america that is one of the most original and stunningly animated movies i've ever seen in my life it 100 percent earned that golden globe for best animated picture and i predict that it will go on to win the oscar for the same category yeah it was that good if you haven't already definitely go see this movie especially if spider-man's your favorite superhero like mine a quiet place i feel like i should do this whole one in asmr i feel like that's kind of fitting a stark change in tone to john krasinski's previous role on the the office. A Quiet Place is an atmospheric and genuinely terrifying movie about a family trying to survive in a world in which any noise means instant death. Now, there is no dialogue pretty much the entire movie, and the tension is built very well. Even if you're not a fan of horror movies, I highly recommend seeing this because I have a lot of friends who don't like horror movies but love this movie, and it is genuinely a really, really good movie. Period. Next movie, Crazy Rich Asians. This was by far the biggest surprise for me this year. When I first heard about this movie, I thought it looked less than good. But after hearing so many people say how great it was, I finally decided to see it and am very happy that I did because it was incredible. It is by far the best romantic comedy I think I've ever seen and my favorite movie of the summer. Yeah, that's right, I said it suck at Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. You were so bad that I bet half the people watching this forgot you were even released this year until I just mentioned it. You could have been the Empire Strikes Back of the Jurassic Park franchise, but instead, you were the Phantom Menace. Definitely check out this movie, guys. Not Jurassic World Crazy Rich Asians. I know a lot of you are probably how I was, all like, but it doesn't look that good. But trust me, it is 100% worth watching. Hereditary. This movie is freaky like i love horror movies and i watch a lot of horror movies but this one freaked me the heck out i'm not gonna go too much into the plot because i think that this is one of the movies where you kind of have to go in blind to get like the full experience but let me tell you it is one of the smartest well shot and genuinely shocking horror movies i've ever seen in my life so much thought went into every shot and every set design that you really have to watch it a few times to get all of the references and foreshadowing in it annihilation talk about mind bender this movie will take your brain throw it in a blender grind it up and shove it in your face like it's a pie or something like you thought the ending of interstellar hurt your head boy that's just preschool compared to this movie now aside from the mind flip that was the ending this movie was incredible 
incredible. Atmospheric, creepy, tense, mysterious. It's everything that makes a good science fiction horror movie. Now, if you're a fan of Ex Machina and you like sci-fi and aren't too, like, freaked out by sudden and intense violence, this is definitely a movie that's worth checking out. Mamma Mia, here we go again. Okay, 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 listen, look, all right? The Mamma Mia movies, look, look, I get it. The Mamma Mia movies are not great, but they are a freaking delight to watch. I loved the first movie, but Here We Go Again is a huge step up. The plot was better, the singing was better, the character development was better, everything was better. I laughed, I cried, I sang, I questioned all of my life choices. Like, it was a romp, let me tell you. I watch a lot of like confusing, mind-blowing movies and indie movies and horror movies. So every now and then, it's good to just watch a movie that, that's just pleasant, you know? It's just pleasant. There's not much thinking involved. There's no giant action sequences. There's no crazy twist ending. It's just a movie and it's just fun and pure and beautiful and I love it. If you want just like a pleasant feel-good movie that doesn't take too much effort or thinking to watch, this is definitely a movie I recommend. Isle of Dogs. If you're unfamiliar with Wes Anderson's style of filmmaking, let me warn you first, it's a little whimsical. Now Fantastic Mr. Fox is still probably my favorite Wes Anderson movie, but this star-studded socio-political commentary is definitely worth watching. The quirky and unique style of filmmaking and dry humor does take a bit to get used to, but if you can get past all that, Isle of Dogs is a surprisingly deep and moving comedy that should definitely be towards the top of your 2018 watch list. I've done this move like eight times in this video and I honestly don't know why. I think it's because I'm not used to doing a video standing up. This is a new thing by the way. I recorded an audio only video a little bit ago. No spoilers! And I did that standing up and I really enjoyed it so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do all my videos standing up. So this is my first one so I don't really know what to do because I have all this space to like move around in like I could go back here and you could still see me I could like come over here and just heck and walk out the door but like I still feel confined to this space because this is where my mic is and like I can control the camera better I can do this move I have no idea how this looks but I can do that I can like move it way back I can move it kind of in the middle I can do so much oh that's the wrong way I can do so much now that like I don't really know what to do. Anyway, that was a long tangent that was completely pointless to this video. Let's move on. Eighth grade. Now, this movie was by far the biggest surprise of my entire life. I had absolutely no idea what to think going into this. I'd seen the trailers and it had gotten good reviews, so I figured it'd be good. And I love Bo Burnham, so I knew I would enjoy it. But I was genuinely surprised how good this movie is. If you're unfamiliar with A24, they do pretty much all of the Sundance dramas that get nominated for Oscars. Like they did Moonlight, they did Lady Bird, they did Hereditary, they did Ex Machina. They've done a ton of movies. Like if you know a film major, they likely have seen almost all of A24 films. What was I talking about before I got in this A24 tangent? Eighth grade. Sorry, this is the one movie that I didn't write anything for because I thought I'd just talk from the heart. Now, I love the quirky art house style films. So if that's not your thing, just be warned that this is like a very art housey movie, but it's so good and so genuine and so original and so like thoughtful it's super good i was thinking about this movie for like a week afterwards it had so much heart to it and so much authenticity and that's what i really love in a film there wasn't like some super big point that the movie was making it was more of like a window into here is what this girl's last week of eighth grade was like and it was so relatable to me and i'm watching the movie and she's doing this cringy stuff and i'm like oh my gosh i did this exact same thing in eighth grade and then I like curled into a ball and kind of like had an existential crisis but that happens often so you don't really need to worry about that but this movie was super good I 100% recommend that you watch this movie there's something for everybody in it definitely go watch this movie so there you have it some of my favorite movies from 2018 there have been a lot of good movies that came out this year like it wasn't as good as past years for me I still think 2017 was one of the best years for movies in a very long time we got baby driver we got ladybird we got Dunkirk we got a silent 
voice. A lot of good movies came out in 2017, but 2018 was nevertheless a really surprisingly good year. And I really wish I could talk about every single movie that came out this year, because I didn't even get to talk about the emotional wrecking ball that was Avengers Infinity War. Like, what the f Marvel? But either way, these are just like, the highlights of what I watched this year. And I definitely recommend that you see all of them. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more, you can check out my last video by hitting that box right down there. Or you can hit that big red subscribe button or click on my face right below this video box to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. For now, this is your pal Jonah, now with 100 subscribers, signing off and saying see you next time on Jonah Entertainment. Bye, everybody.